Doug Flutie's quest to become an NFL quarterback. He throws, and it is caught for the touchdown! Today on NFL Films Presents. Films Presents is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. A lot of guys in the NFL resented Flutie because he was always the darling of the fans against the wishes of sort of the common wisdom of scouts and everybody in the NFL that you shouldn't give him the job, quarterback who's so short. Little Doug Flutie, his overcoming the odds of being told, you can't do this, you're too small to play this big man's game, people love that. Flutie takes rolling out left, being chased by Browner, stops and heaves the left side of the end zone for Peyton over the shoulder, catch, save for the touchdown! He is not the physical freak out there on display. He is the guy who we all think we are. Flutie fakes the handoff. Bootlegs right now, lofts it to the end zone. The guy in the stands said, that could be me out there. He's the ever man. Of course, ordinary men do not perform miracles. Here's your ball game, folks, as Flutie takes the snap. He drops straight back, has some time. Now scrambles away from one hit. Look, uncorks a deep one for the end zone. the most famous play in college football history. But it's what Doug Flutie did after every pass that defines his career. A hop. No matter what uniform he wore, Flutie was always fighting to be at the top. At five feet, nine inches tall, five three in most scouts' eyes, he shouldn't have had a prayer. Flutie backpedaling, look! Throws long, down to Moles, and it is caught! And in for the touchdown! He is a miracle man. I honestly think there was a big sigh of relief in the NFL <laughs> when I signed with the USFL. <laughs> because they didn't want to make the mistake of signing me, and they didn't want to make the mistake of not signing me. I was a big question mark in the NFL. I was projected anywhere from a late first to a third, fourth round draft pick. And, Why do you think that was? Oh, obviously, it was my size, my height. Because any GM or anyone that takes that risk, if they draft Doug Flutie and it doesn't pan out, they were stupid. If they draft John Elway and it doesn't pan out, well, that's Elway's fault. He's, he's got the size, the arm strength, everything, and, you know, that's up to him to make it work. Spurned by the NFL, Flutie signed with Donald Trump's New Jersey Generals and was billed as the USFL's Joe Namath. But it was the quarterback who needed rescuing. When the USFL folded in 1986, Chicago's Mike Ditka was the only NFL coach who believed in Flutie. Doug Flutie was a great football player. If he had one limitation, it was height. There was a lot of controversy if the Bears are playing with this five foot nine quarterback who's not supposed to get the job done. That never bothered me. When he stood in the pocket, he could throw the football. As long as he's not thrown to a midget, why, what's the difference? And Doug Flutie got it out there. What a perfect pass. I was so excited to go to Chicago. What an opportunity. I'm going to the best team in the NFL. I got a chance. We have a chance mm -hmm. to win a Super Bowl. I mean, this is going to be my rookie year, and we're going to, I'm on that caliber of team. Before I even get there, Jim McMahon's saying things about me coming in. And the reason for it, really, and, and I understand it exactly, was... He's banged up. His buddies, Tom Zack and Steve Fuller, had been there already and deserved an opportunity first. And he didn't understand why they needed to bring in someone from the outside. McMahon dubbed Flutie America's midget. Teammates suggested he would flourish in the sawed-off shotgun. And a team loaded with larger-than-life personalities refused to make room for a small quarterback. He never developed any relationships with the team. He was Mike's boy, he was Mike's son, he was Mike's guy. But beyond that, he was never a true teammate to any of the guys here in Chicago. 
a guy 6'5 that's lifted his tail off since he was in high school and weighs 290 pounds and goes out every week and, and beats heads with somebody to earn a living. Doesn't like the fact that a guy that's small, not that strong, can come out and get all this attention in their game. I'd like that bother you that some various players resented him. No, no. A lot of various players resent me. Why should it bother me? <laughs> I learned a lot about myself when he came to Chicago because I thought, certainly this guy is not a quarterback. I had no idea how he could throw. I had no idea uh, anything about him, but he was a very high character, had a great arm. I mean, a great arm. I, I think we did him a disservice, and he never really had a fair chance because he was coming to a team where, whether it was McMahon or, or whoever it was, uh, you know, making fun of him or saying things about him. We were all saying things, and we were all guilty. In just his second NFL start in the 1986 playoffs. Playoff programming lineup here. Programming lineup. Flutie was asked to defend the world championship of a team that didn't want him. We were up by a score or two. We had such a great defense. All we had to do was not screw it up on offense. Back is Flutie to pass. Deep drop. Fires it out over the top. Incomplete. No, picked off. Daryl Green's got it. He came to us at the wrong time. If it would have been a different time, it would have worked a lot better. The Chicago Bears, the season with a 14-3 and record, and it ends in the divisional playoffs. If everybody else around him would have done their job in the playoff game, we would have won the playoff game, and Doug Flutie would have went down in history as one of the quarterbacks who led the Bears to the Super Bowl. When we return, Flutie learns you can't go home again. Doug Flutie, fourth touchdown pass of the day. All we did was keep winning, and all Ray Berry wanted to do was get him out of the lineup. Okay. Technology you've never seen before. Anywhere. Ever. Which raises a good point. If you're going to buy a new luxury car, shouldn't there be something new about it? Introducing the 2011 Lincoln MKX. It's not just luxury, it's smarter than that. Source for Sports and CCM want to throw a party for your hockey association. Hosted by New York Islanders star, John Tavares. Enter online at sourceforsports.com by October 31st for your chance to win. Source for Sports, we know our stuff. There are better ways to refresh your skin after shaving. Keep your sensitive skin feeling cool with Nivea for Men After Shave Balm. What men want. And look for the complete sensitive line from the number one men's skincare brand. Does your smooth pass the second day test? Or does Frizz make you start all over? Get ready for a revolution. New customized Pantene Frizzy to Smooth System. Medium to thick hair absorbs up to 40% more moisture. So we customized a Pro-V system that in test outlasts the frizz point. The results? Smooth stays into the second day. Frizzy to Smooth from Pantene. Put it to the test. Does your volume pass the afternoon test? Or does it flop by 4 o'clock? Get ready for a revolution. New customized Pantene flat to volume system. We discovered fine hair has up to 50% less protein. So we customized a Pro-V system that in test outlasts the flop. The results? Volume that lasts long past 4 o'clock. Flat to volume from Pantene. Put it to the test. In Chicago, Doug Flutie's problem was always his teammates. When he was traded to New England, it was his head coach. Raymond Berry had become a Hall of Fame wide receiver with precise, by-the-book route running. It took injuries to two quarterbacks in 1988 before Berry would put Flutie and his helter-skelter style on the field. And at first, it worked. Flutie back to pass, third down, lets it go to the end zone. In a 
grudge match against Flutie's old Chicago teammates, Barry's conservative game plan limited his quarterback to just six completions, but four were for touchdowns. He killed us. I mean, he absolutely murdered us. We were a pretty good football team still then, and he just destroyed us. Flutie back to pass. He's going long left side. Wide open Irving Fryer down the left sideline. Cuts back in at the 30. Touchdown, Patriots! In nine starts and one relief appearance, Flutie led New England to seven of the Patriots' nine wins in 1988. Well, no one expected Doug Flutie to be able to assume the mantle of starting quarterback. He does a naked boot, which looked like a broken play, but in essence was him calling his own number. Flutie fakes the handoff, naked boot, leg it off. Touchdown! Touchdown, Doug Flutie! Patriots win, place goes icky balooky for Doug Flutie. The excitement is back at Sullivan Stadium. This place has gone icky balooky. All he did was keep winning, and all Ray Berry wanted to do was get him out of the lineup. Once Tony Eason was healthy, Flutie was benched, and the Patriots' playoff push ground to a halt. If you're going to have Doug Flutie, you have to turn the show over to Doug Flutie. There was no point in having Doug Flutie if you're going to try to make him a conventional quarterback. And Raymond Burry was inherently conservative. He did not have any imagination or guts or combination thereof to allow Doug Flutie to be Doug Flutie. The following year, I sit the bench and don't really play much. Rod West becomes a coach, and I don't remember where I was. Basically got the phone call that, yeah, we got a mini camp next week and you're not invited. At that point, most of the NFL teams viewed me as maybe a Band-Aid type guy, a guy that could go in, maybe win some games for him and help him out, but he's not the guy. I felt like you've only have so many years to play this game. I don't want to sit here on a bench for the next 15 years. I'm going up and having some fun, play football, go somewhere where they're aggressively want me and I'm going to have an opportunity to play and have fun. Flutie sought asylum in the Canadian Football League and became the greatest player in CFL history. In eight seasons of exile, he won six MVP awards, threw for 41,000 yards, and won three great cups. Flutie goes the opposite way, and Doug Flutie scores! The league has a new dynasty, the Toronto Argonauts, great cup champions again. Well, what do you think? Would an NFL team be able to construct an offense and have time to work with him? When you were winning all of that, was there still something inside you saying, if I can do this up here, I want another crack at the NFL? In my own mind, there was no question that I could get it done in the NFL. I thought my one loss record by that time had kind of spoke for itself. But I was having the time of my life, and I didn't really want to go back. I was 35 years old. And I was basically ready to retire. I, I remember my agent calling me and says, um, Buffalo's interested. I know it's not much, but give us some time. Think about it. Let me know. I go, OK, I thought about it. Let's do it. <laughs> and we did a deal. I took about an 80% pay cut to go to Buffalo just to try to prove people wrong. Up next, Flutie Mania in Bates, Buffalo. This place is Midland. Flutie was a savior. He saved the bills. Wrap it up, boys, while I'm still young. Two hours till bedtime. Let's move it. Ooh. You do your own stunts, right? Wow. Well, I... Good enough. Your favorite movies right when you want them. Watch unlimited movies and TV episodes instantly through your game console or other devices. All for only eight bucks a month from Netflix. They know they have guns, right? There's a burger out there to make you dream of meat And bouncing pickles down on Melty Street Grill Burger A quarter pound of beef is how we start making it Shove it in your mouth right after we bake it Grill Burger Did I just use bacon as a verb? Maybe The new DQ Bacon Cheese Grill Burger Just three twenty nine dollars for a limited time And finish off with the new DQ Mini Blizzard Sony Ericsson X10 Mini from Rogers. 
wireless wave. Love the phone. With the all new 2011 Jetta, our engineers in Germany didn't stop at redesigning the car. They also redesigned the price. Introducing the all new 2011 Jetta, starting from only 15,875. Volkswagen, das Auto. Well, it's been uh, eight years coming. I was convinced that they believe in me. There's no uh, prejudices or thoughts going into it that uh, I'm going to get a legitimate opportunity, and that's what uh, that's all I can ever ask for. What I was told was you'll have an opportunity to compete for the starting job. Within a couple of weeks, they signed Rob Johnson. No problem. We'll compete for this job. Well, I hear the press conference, and Wade says the Rob Johnson era of the Buffalo Bills is about to begin. Blue Rob Johnson era. was everything Doug Flutie was not. 6'4", 217 pounds, the prototypical NFL quarterback. Right now, being number two is okay. I mean, if anyone were to say they're completely content sitting the bench, they don't belong in the game. The role of being behind Rob Johnson would never appeal to him. Uh. Once he saw Rob was not the guy in his mind, he set out to unseat Rob. Chris. And it was not going to be a happy relationship of the old you vet helping out the young guy. Doug doesn't play that role. He's not a mentor. He's a doer. In Indianapolis, Johnson takes a hit and doesn't get up. And in comes Doug Flutie. And look at this, Doug Flutie now is coming in. And everything about Flutie's return to the NFL changed that day because he took over and he did what Doug Flutie does. He backs up, he throws, and it is caught for the touchdown. Looking, looking, now he runs, now he throws, touchdown. Flutie seized the job and reeled off eight wins in 11 games, transforming the Bills from an also ran into a playoff team. Look, throws in the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown. And it was like, this felt like the CFL felt for me. It was, it was fun. It was a blast. It's exciting. One play, 18 seconds. Does Flutie have a pro miracle? And the best part of it to me was saying, I told you so to the guys that were saying you couldn't get it done. Here's Flutie rolling out, and he is in for the touchdown. Flutie was a savior. It is not an overstatement to say that he saved the Bills. At that point, the future of the Bills in Buffalo was in peril. They desperately needed to sell the luxury suites, which are much more difficult to sell in a market like Buffalo than in a place like New York. He brought back the interest level. He brought back the fans. He brought back the excitement. And he was an exciting guy to watch. Now he runs. Now he throws. Touchdown. Oh, yeah. You'd pay your admission to be entertained by Doug Flutie. You wanted the wins. Get mine, get mine, go, go, go. But he entertained you. Got it, go, go, Zyra, go, go, Zyra, go. Yes, good play. That, to me, should have silenced critics. After being out for eight years, becoming a starter in Buffalo, going to the Pro Bowl, and leading the team into the playoffs. After 13 years of being denied, Flutie finally had a team of his own. Damn good run, Flutie! He also had his own breakfast cereal. It was enough to make the NFL establishment go snap, crackle, and pop. Okay, you got stuff going with that little song. Oh, man. How about that? 
for scouting. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you know what we should do? Pass a rule at the combine. Take all the watchers away from that scouts. The scouts took another hit in 1999 when Flutie threw for more than 3,000 yards and led the Bills to the playoffs for the second straight season. Hooray for Doug! Hooray, lads! Hooray for Doug! He's a horse's... In Buffalo, you won 70% of your games. What did you think when Wade Phillips tells you before the last game of the season, we're going to give you the game off so you can rest your arm? The year before, I had banged up my knee a little bit. And so Rob started the last game before playoffs. This year, I was 100% healthy. And they were doing it again. And if I really felt like it was to, to rest me, make sure I don't get hurt, I would have had no issue. But I, I had that feeling. The guy that's making more money needs to play. But you already proved that you were the better quarterback. But the guy, that need, the guy that makes the more money needs to play because it's the NFL, or he should be gone. And if he shouldn't be gone and he's not playing, then the GM should be gone. A change at quarterback for the Bills. They start Rob Johnson instead of Doug Flutie. In a meaningless game for the Bills and the Colts. Rolling out, throwing, touchdown! Johnson played like an all-pro. Three drives, 83 yards, 80 yards, and 82 yards, all for touchdowns consecutively in the first half. This week, as far as quarterbacks concerned, I'm starting Rob Johnson, and he's going to play this week for us um, with Doug, Doug being the second quarterback. And I knew right away it, it wasn't his decision. It wasn't coming from Wade, because I, I knew how he felt about me, about me playing. This decision was coming from higher up, and, and later on that was confirmed. Flutie could only watch as his team was the victim of a miracle finish. It's O'Neal at the 25, yeah, reaches it. it back to Wycheck. He throws it across the field to Dyson. And he's got something. And down the sideline. It's a miracle! Tennessee has pulled a miracle! Since benching Flutie, the Bills have started six different quarterbacks with the right height. Not one of them has gotten Buffalo to the playoffs. Of course, Doug Flutie's career was one big, I told you so. And two years later, as a San Diego Charger, he finally had the chance to prove the Bills wrong. Very little arm strength left with Flutie. He doesn't run as much as he used to. But while Buffalo wrote him off as a 39-year-old has-been, the magic Flutie made them wonder what might have been with one of his signature last-minute comebacks. Here he is, looking, hit from behind, got away. He's on the run now. Flutie's gone! Touchdown, Chargers! In one of the wildest finishes to a football game that I have not seen since the Holy Roller, Doug Flutie has brought his little bag of magic tricks. Very rarely do I save game balls or, or keep a ball from a moment. I kept that one under my arm and jogged off the sideline with it. What a courageous effort by Doug Flutie today. Put down the naysayers, stick it back in their face, and say, hey, I told you so. Now, Buckley's has a liquid gel. They relieve the cold and flu symptoms that get in your way, like headache, body pain, and even mucus. <laughs> oh, they work all right. Buckley's Complete Liquid Gels, they work. Was it the number seven train that carried his barrels across the land? Or was seven simply his lucky number? Some say there were seven women in his life, but one held a special place in his heart. Truth is, only Jack Daniel knows the true meaning of old number seven from him anytime soon. I could go on to a site and go, I like to play soccer, and I'm, maybe I'll get 5,000 women that like to play soccer. Fantastic, but so what? If I, that's all I have in common, uh, it better be the World Cup all year round or we're going to be in trouble. There's no, there's no click. There's no, um, there's nothing deeper than that. With eHarmony, everything's so to the core. Um, I think you stand a much better chance of meeting someone you really connect with, and that's more important to me than anything, you know? Review all your matches for free at eHarmony.ca. Introducing the X Games Snow MX by Outer Edge. The 
X Games Snow MX combines the smooth glide of a snowboard with the steering of a BMX bike. With the unique design, you can carve big turns, blast down the slopes, and do awesome tricks. It's like nothing you've ridden before. The X Games Snow MX, the ride for the next generation. Always wear a helmet when you ride. The X Games Snow MX, helmet and gear each sold separately. Hi, I'm Ray Lewis. Women want me, men want to be me, and animals want to learn how to talk so they can hang out with me. Do you want to know why? Why? Old Spice, Cure Sport, deodorant. That makes sense. La Dolby a été plaquée par Dieu, surveillez ces deux-là. Et voilà, c'est l'année et le but Oh Incroyable Doug Flutie is still a fan at heart, especially of all things Boston. He even showed up for our interview wearing a Red Sox sweatshirt. Do you still take your glove to Fenway Park? Absolutely. You I, really do. Did you ever catch a ball? I have caught... At major league ballparks, I've caught six balls. Do people ever say, God, look, hey, that's uh, you know, he's got a glove, I can't. No, it, well, maybe, in, gotta, maybe initially, initially. And now it's like, oh, got your glove, okay, good. What, you didn't bring your glove? Oh, there it is, okay, yeah, good, you got it. And what happened was, everybody else started bringing gloves. The area that I sit in all the time, everybody's got their gloves. Flutie never grew up, literally and figuratively. That was both his greatest strength and his greatest weakness. In a land of Goliaths, Doug Flutie, 5'8", maybe, has taken this team right down the field. Even in his late 30s, he still played drums in a rock band. Please welcome the Flutie Brothers Band! Sported an 80s mullet and played a brand of football more suited for the Sandlot than an NFL stadium. Flutie drops it, but picks it up and runs at the 10 to the 5, leaps over, touchdown! Doug Flutie looks like he's a 22-year-old rookie. Flutie's exit from professional football was as unconventional as his career. In 2005, as a backup to Tom Brady in New England, he resurrected the lost art of dropkicking. When I went to Buffalo, I just kind of did it by myself as a go out early, mess around on the field, being a kid, having fun. Well, I guess Chris Berman had heard about it, mentioned it to Belichick, put the buzz in his ear. Belichick calls me in his office, and there's Berman standing behind him, all proud. And, and Bill's like, can you drop kick? I go, yeah, well, I can do it. There's no reason for it, but yeah, I can do it. He says, well, work on it. All of a sudden, the Miami game's going on. Five minutes ago, Bill turns to me. We scored here, you're kicking it. I go, what? He didn't even get the, the line out of his mouth, and we were in the end zone. Fires over the middle, complete to Tim Dwight, touchdown. And I go, are you serious? He goes, yeah, go get it. I rip the coat off and we'll jog out on the field. Here the Patriots going to go for two points. Yes, they are, and they've got Doug Flutie in to run the two-point conversion. Standing back at his 11-yard line. He's going to drop kick it. I mean, you would have thought we won a playoff game. They drop kick the football. I haven't seen God, that since the days of those base mask and leather helmets. Lonnie Paxson was our long snapper. Lonnie standing next to Zach Thomas, and he's like, what the hell? Lonnie's like, that's a drop kick. Hadn't been done in 64 years. Yeah. <laughs> and Zach's so like, you guys are a bunch of idiots. <laughs> and, you know, just go to the sideline and... I go to give Bill a big hug, and he's kind of uncomfortable. He's not a real touchy-feely kind of guy. My daughter tells me I blew off Tom Brady. Tom went to high-five me. I went right by him to Bill. This might be Flutie's last professional game at 43, and that alone was the price of admission right here for these fans in New England. When we think about your legacy, if there's a message from looking at, at, at Doug Flutie's career, what would that message be? It's been there at every level at one time or another. It's believing in your own abilities. And that other guy over there, no matter how long he's been here, really doesn't know what you're capable of. Maybe sometimes you need people to tell you you can't do it to get it done. He drops straight back, has some time, now scrambles away from one hit. Look, unfortunate deep one for the end zone. Phelan is down there. Oh, he's got it together. He got it. He got it. He Get him!
it. Because that's one of the things he does so well in helping them throw the football. Second down and nine. 